Well, welcome back to Chatting Bubbles. What a glorious day again. We mean October. Whew. Just gonna flick around. I've uh, got the old trusty gun out. Just give a little bit of a, an explanation. Now I've changed the lance and I'll show you around and see what the difference is. As before, I've got the small lance on with the pinhole. Just started doing that, the battery went flat. Now, my whole idea of this is normally I'd have to flush and empty that that vat completely and keep filling it back up to wash these off so what I've done as you can see my brushes I'm on there this section is always clean apart from the cud right at the bottom so I've actually held the brushes up over that chamber and you can catch that get wash them off put them in there to soak obviously that now is getting a bit murky now and I'm going to do get wash these off and just lie them on top of them rails there and the whole idea is I'm using the clean water out of there to jet wash all these off and then when I empty it I've just got to empty that in one whereas before I was using the house pipe and you can see by that I know you've probably seen this before we can see how that's coming up a treat I'll get it all cleaned up and I'll get back to you as you can see over there, I've got the uh, jack matting draining off back into the filter before I empty that filter. And I've come back over into my filter house. We've seen all this before. I can't believe the amount of crud. I think it's just the algae. You can't see as much now. I've just swelled it out once. It's biting it. Again, I've turned my pump up to 100%. Just to flush it through and fill the uh, the filter up quicker. Now I'm going to fetch me jet wash in a minute, so I can wash this off with a jet wash because I've been using it over on the other field. I don't normally do bowl filters on the same day. So I had on the green one, probably about five months, and I've left that for a purpose. I've just been cleaning the nexus out. So today I'm going to do the top coming here today, and, and the nexus is really bad, so I'm doing bowl fill at the same time. The matting. You can see by the colour of the water now. Washed all them out, and obviously the idea is that to drain into there. And instead of me keep wasting water out the pond, I've turned this off. Now all I've got to do is empty that once, saving pond water. Just gonna pull the valve. Just pull it. You can see. Oh, sorry about the camera. Look at the crow. In that. Let me put them on. I've got to stop and start. The valve dice shouldn't be turning off then. Because today, you can, you can see it all, already. Chatting bubbles again. Flooding the grass. Trying to draw the grass out so I was up and cut it a bit lighter. All my sins at school. I really need to get some pipe work all the way down to the drain so I won't flush it in one. I'd like to store it really in a in a barrel and use it for my plants. It's just as you can see by me. Still got two small fish in that tank there. I don't want to change on that today. They're doing great. Day fry. I've just literally got no room in my garden to put anything. I would like a, a water butt. I am thinking. You can't see because the berry bush there. I've got a square there, I've never been happy with that square up that corner. I'm thinking I was going to put a, a tank in there off Dave. I've got the fish tank I'm uh, cleaning out and obviously the, the pond is getting too much for me now. So I'm going to try and get a water butt there, but if I put it there, it means I've got to try and get the water from where I'm standing now, over to there. Ideally it would be better if I've got it somewhere there. Then it's getting watering can from there. The only other alternative is, and that's what I might do is move this bed stand there and put that over that corner when I've done it. Then I've got to dig them trees out there, they're getting too big, they're going to ruin the shed, and that's uh, something else to look forward to watching. I don't think you've noticed this on here as well. 
I'll get the box out later on and I'll do I'll do a little bit of a review on that and I'll explain to you what that is. The bar it is this year with nuts, but we seem to be overrun with them this year. I had to go in the doctor yesterday and I'll be getting up on camera. I've had to put on antibiotics. It's nice to play football Sunday, got a bite, I'll be getting picked that up on camera. An all my hand, and all of my arm here, this brace of the containers, I'm sorry, I've had to open that up to relieve the pressure on it. I'm going to go on the doctor and get on the bar tips, and I had the only one. This would seem to be out of hard room with them this year. That was out of the field, out of the football field, but then it wore a gnat. I was doing that point, there's like torn a little black point. So uh, I don't know what to give on this season. Here again, you've got the warm weather and the cold weather, and it's a, a beautiful day again today. So maybe that's what it is. Okay then folks, there's something uh, really important I'd like to ask you to do for me. I'm just waiting for the water to drain down the garden. You know I ain't very good at this editing stuff and adding people's channels and stuff on. So I'm going to flick you down and I'm going to show you the mug so you know how to spell what I'm going to ask you to do. I'd like you to go over to this channel, Fenland Lass. Now Fenland and Lass has put a video out, some of you may have already watched it, some of you may not. So if you wouldn't mind going over to the channel, you'll get all the information on the channel. Many years ago a brother disappeared and he's never been found and um, she's trying to find him, see if anybody can recognise his picture and uh, they can uh, either get in touch with the, the, the lad I mean he'd be a bit a ground bloke now but if you can get in touch with him and just ask him to send a message to friend and lass still living in the same house so if he ever returns he'll know where they are subscribe to them really nice people, met him on a, a few occasions and it would be nice if you could uh, get an happy ending for a, a YouTuber. So that's Fend and Lass. Pop over, subscribe. Don't forget the polish of the thumb. And I'd really appreciate it. And if you get to watch the video, if you could share their video, I'd really appreciate it. Back to my old uh, jet wash. You remember on a previous video, I don't know if you can actually see it because of the sun. I put a piece of lead on that filter to sink it. Oh, and it ain't heavy enough, it ain't sinking. It's In fact, it's floating more now than what it did with the lead on. So I'm going to have to put a new piece of lead on that, or a bigger piece. That's come out lovely. Look at the crud in there. And a little mud trap there, look. I don't know whether I said this on a previous video, but somebody sent me a message saying that I've got this filter set up wrong. This is how it come when I had it. See that part there that off the inlet, that's a proper inlet anyway. The outlet is there. And the reason I can't use that obviously is because of the wall and as you can see again I'm restricted to room the builders are next door they put all brand new fencing up for me so I've had to leave a gap there for them to get the panels out so there's no way I can move it or change it round I suppose I could raise it a lot higher but I really don't want to do it but that's the answer to the reason why it's not running the way it should and this was already put on so I've just left it as it is and it seems to be doing okay to be fair so that's the reason why the filter is running the way it is Everard shut that door 
Look at the muck here. Couple of little uh, traps. Bacteria traps. I have just yet washed that out, but you can still see the, the crud that's out. That's the original outlet. That's the only downside about it. And I put that elbow in there to stop the water back flowing. And there's a little bit there, so I'm just going to uh, use the old Carlos Fandango gun. Okay, then, so this is the bit I always dread. This is the bit that absolutely gets to me. I'm trying to get this out of the water. Now, the flow, the flow rate in my green filter have been the best, so I thought I'd just take this out to check it. The only downside is when you pull these out, most of the crap goes back in through the cage. Look how full that is, and all that is not larvae. And I've got to try and get that off as well now. Look at that. Sorry about the camera work. So I want to get that off now and clean that out. But to be fair, not a lot of crap. But like I say, when you pull it out, you can see the, the gaps there in the cage. Most of it goes back in anyway. That's why it's always best to build your pond and have your pump on the outside. So you see and see I've changed the lead. That's a bit over the top. But now sink straight down. Same as a pan. There you go. That's flowing nicely again now. That's running 10,000. I've left it on 10,000 now. And the only way I could uh, adjust that down is by that valve there, but I've been leaving it open. As you can tell, the fishing wall doing absolutely brilliant. I'm not still I thinned them out yet. Getting a bit too light now to do it. My plant of Tony Barker still tied up. I can't tell you none to me for dear life. Uh, just a little video, I know you've seen filters cleaned out before but uh, just to let you know what I'm up to not much changing I've got a, I said on a previous video I've got a shoulder injury, I've got a scan see if I've damaged that so everything's a bit uh, upside down at the moment I have got plans for that waterfall over there that's going to be next year now sorry about the building work Um, what I'd like to do while I'm on the video, you, some of you have probably heard, some some not. Uh, Glyn Mad Dog has opened his own uh, little business, westcroftkai.com. I was down there the weekend with Pete and Dave and Glyn and Teresa. And us lads, while we was there, took a few photos and a little video of some of the fish that I'm on offer at westcroftkai.com. If you're interested, pop over, have a look. Found Glenn or Teresa, make arrangements to go down there. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. They're, they're really great people. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some photos of some of the koi. And if you want more details on how to purchase them, anything else as well, all your dry goods, the usual thing, fittings, everything else. Either, either call. Glean or go onto his website. So I'm just going to have the photos on after this.
thank you all very much for watching if you like my videos please share them subscribe if you don't mind and as always folks don't forget to polish our thumb you know you want to until next time